I'm here today fishing with my buddy Paul Caffaro, the pond master himself, and it is chilly. It's 50 degrees here in Florida. It's pretty cold for Florida. And we're fishing in shore. We don't know what's gonna happen. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh! The first thing we're gonna do today is target houndfish. We got ballyhoo for bait, and basically we're gonna cut off a little piece, we're gonna throw it behind the boat, let it sit on the surface, and the houndfish should come up and eat them. Oh my gosh, I just got hammered, dude. So the reason he's letting it eat like that, and I just know this from past experience, is because when the houndfish eats a bait, they'll just sit there with the bait in their mouth and just run with it and sky out of the water before they even eat it fully. So just gotta hope he's got it, and clearly, I think he's got that one. I think we got this one. Oh, oh, yeah. He's still he's, there? He's still there. Oh yeah, yeah, he got that one. He got him. Look at the weight it's making. No, they're sick. Look at that. They're like they're the poor man's sailfish, dude. Okay, buddy. I love that. Now, these color. guys are so dangerous. Gosh, dude. Everyone's friends. Okay, it's out, it's out, calm down. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> the hound fish. It's not a giant one, but man, they are so much hey, fun to get. You got one? Oh, big one, dude. Big one, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, coming like crazy. Look at that. Bow to the king. No, oh, dude, they can actually walk on water. <laughs> Come here, I haven't held one of you in a long time. Look at that. Don't want to have your hand in there. That's for sure. Should I let it bite me? Have you ever had one bite you before? Should I let it bite me? If you're that crazy. I'll let it bite me. You will? Yeah. No, you will not. Dude, do not do that. What's wrong with you? It's kind of funny. Oh, okay, let's not do that. All right, this is what you got to do when they're out of the water for a while, you know? goes for any fish. You put his head against the current and you swim him like he would be in the normal, just, you know, doing his thing out there. Look how much he blends in with the water, though. Yo, I just got eight, bro. So long, brother. Here he comes, full steam. Oh my, oh my gosh, oh no. my gosh, oh my gosh, dude. I think, I think, I think it's gone now. Did you sight fish him? No, oh, he's bring me up. My <laughs> dude. No. That is a no, monster. <laughs> I didn't even know they get that big, dude. Dude, he almost broke me off. Oh my oh, no. goodness. Oh my gosh. No, 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 don't go, don't go that pole, don't go that pole. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, we got him out. Dude, he's trying to break me off. Look at him digging. Oh, he's gonna break me off. No, no, no. Okay, we got him out. Oh, oh my goodness. That, that, that's a six pounder, dude. If you're enjoying watching this video right now, make sure you hit that like button right there. Just click that little thumbs up. It really helps out. Oh that's my a donkey, goodness. Right, Paul, I got your this. rod. Oh, this, careful. Oh gosh, dude, that's a, that's a <laughs> dinosaur, dude. Gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. For all you guys who think poundfish are a joke, it's come a out here with fish. yeah, come out here with ten pound test and, and try catching one. <laughs> I've, I've been fighting this fish for five minutes and he's still got energy. Dude, you gotta be so careful with these big ones, bro. They will. He's he's watching me. You see those giant eyes? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> He will try to bite you, and it will hurt so bad. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a giant. Oh yeah. Bro, this thing weighs, this is over five pounds. This is a monster. We're actually gonna take a check how many eat them. These things are actually pretty good eating. I've eaten them before. They taste similar to walleye. They're pretty good bait. And uh, on the this pier, is, we sketch snook This is a little big on. for bait right here. Yeah, that is too big for bait. But we sketch snook on the smaller ones. And really? the meat is blue. No, the meat's very good. Very blue. It's like the color of his mouth right there. Dude, they're like right You there. know what, guys? I really respect these fish. I mean, they're, they fight hard. They're super cool looking. They jump. They take fast runs. They're aggressive feeders. Pretty much all you want in a sport fish. Underrated. Very underrated. That's one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. Dude. It's, it's mind blowing. It honestly is, and I've never seen one that big in person. I've seen them in the water, never a person. Here's the crazy one. thing, dude. In the Pacific, they get like three times that size. I'd love to make a trip just to get them. I think me and you need to go there. I'm you guys down. think me and Paul need to go to Mexico catch some giant hound fish? Right in the comments, right now. Go to Mexico Let catch giant houndies. Goodness gracious! What happened? I wasn't oh ready gosh, for it, dude. dude. I was just chilling. I had my bail clothes. <laughs> Bro, I got and birds eating my bait. Ooh. Oh. oh, it came off. And uh, no. that's, that's, a good that's one, the dude. easy way to do it. Let me yeah. tell you, if I can have that happen every time, besides one like Josh caught, but I wouldn't mind that. All I know is if you don't touch it, it don't count. Huh. 
anything over there. <laughs> the birds are becoming an obstacle here. They're, every time we throw our bait out there, they're, they're eating it. But finally, I got through the birds and we got something. It might be a hound, it might be someone else, but I'm pretty sure it's a hound. It's eating my bait. I'm gonna let him eat it. Trying to expose him back there. Here we go. Got him. Oh. Oh, that's not a bad one. That might be a nice one. Oh. Dude, they are, they are just like the outfit. The hound fish. Oh, look at those giant eyes. These fish, dude, he looked, he's shifting his eyes looking at me. He's like, how can I bite you right now? Those teeth right there, you do not want to get bit by them. That is miserable. I got a single and two trebles spaced along the hound fish's body. Now, the reason I do that because you never know where the predator is going to strike. You can strike at the head, the middle, or the back of the tail. And this way, having the three hooks like that, it allows you to maximize your opportunity of hooking the fish. We slow trolled the houndfish around for about an hour. No barracudas ate them, so we just let them go. Now we're fishing for jacker balls. And dude, let me tell you something. This is wreck city. I'm ready. There's some giants here. I'm ready. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, toss it in. Right here, dude. Look how big they are. They're so big, dude. I told you they're big. Oh, oh yeah, you're, we're getting, we're gonna have to put the heat to them. If they, oh my, they're so big, dude. They're I so big, <laughs> it's so insane. Oh, yeah. no. I got you, guys. Back me up, back me up, back me up, back me up. Come on, drag all the way, all the way. Pull as hard as you can. No! That's disgusting. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Freaking fish on. beast. <laughs> Sitting here getting untangled. Oh my god. <laughs> Paul, get over, get over top of me, get over top of me, get over top of me. Not gonna get broken off the hall. Paul, get him, man. Get Out him, you're in the middle of the channel and just. Oh my gosh, dude, there's a giant there. Oh, he's a giant, bro. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's a giant. Oh my gosh, he's giant, bro. <gasps> It is 20 pounds. Ugh. That's the one that was lit up. Yeah. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude. We are getting that. in the meat today, boys. Wow. Listen to that. He's saying, guys, subscribe. <laughs> like this video. That is a big fish right there. All right, buddy. Here we go. So long, brother. Awesome fish, what a bro. What fight, dude. dude. Jack of all's man, pound for pound, one of the strongest fish right. you'll ever find in shore. What an epic day. You ready to catch some sharks? I'm ready. Let's do some shark fishing. We started today off catching houndfish, and that was a lot of fun with that one giant. And then we caught some jacks. We tried catching a barracuda, but they weren't biting. And now the tide switched to outgoing, and we're shark fishing. And hopefully, hopefully, we catch a monster. There's a bunch of ballyhoo behind the boat right now. I've never caught a ballyhoo on rod and reel. I got this tiny little hook here. It's smaller than a sabiki. Look at that little thing. Yeah, <laughs> they come. They they get like a chum thing from the basket. This is this is when this is when you get a big shark, bro. When you start playing around with little fish like this. Oh my gosh, it's over. There is hundreds, dude. I know. <gasps> oh, he marked it. Oh! He ate it. No. He yeah. Oh, I got him. Oh! Oh my gosh, yes! He got a ballyhoo, bro! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, look at that guy! Oh, look at this. Look at that ballyhoo. Oh, that is just primo, primo bait. Look, that's the frozen one, that's the live one. We're gonna put him in the live one. Oh, he's so happy in there. Dude, how much are gonna pipe that thing, dude? <laughs> this is so much fun. Normally, you just throw the cast net on them and you're done. But this is like more, way more entertaining. Just drop this down there. Here we go. Oh, oh, they're, oh, they're on it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he ate me. Yeah, he, he ate me. It. That's a big one. Oh, Monster. yes. <laughs> Woo, Ballyhoo. This is not for the Sabiki rig, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so epic. This is why I have little tiny hooks with me at all times. That's the bait, just a little piece of meat from the sardine. A very small hook, we got 10 pound floral. And let's put it right behind the boat right here. Loads back. Oh, he's eating it. He's eating it. Oh, we got him. Yes. <laughs> Three Just seconds. Just like that. Oh, 
had about a 20 pound jack down for me, okay? And this nurse shark is just sitting here and chewing on this thing for like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Look at that, he's trying to pull. I think it's a nurse, could be a small bull. I mean, he's trying to act like a, like a tough guy. Normally I take the rod out of the rod holder, but this fish is so small, it's not gonna waste my time. Just wanna get him in, release him, and try again for another big shark. There's the fish. Ugh. How did you eat that? Dude, that jack is enormous. I'll help you, ready? Good job. You just show that man who's boss. Look at that nurse shark, guys. Not the shark I'm looking for, but he's over 200 pounds, so he's a nice size fish. Nice size shark for any good day. These are like gentle giants. There we go. So you, you cut Swim that hook in half, we'll just yeah. make it come out the other side? Yeah, so what happens when you cut the hook in half, like we did right here, so because this and the barb is what stops the hook, right? Yeah, that little so that, loop that other the piece will just get caught. Yeah, it'll just flip out as flip well. right out, yep. I've never caught, I mean, you, you know, it's possible we catch the same shark twice, but I've never caught one of my sharks that I've caught when I cut the hook like that yeah. with a piece of hook in its mouth. Usually that just always falls out. Not a bad day. Killed it. We've got houndfish, got giant houndfish. Yep. Big jacks. Big jacks. Got a nurse shark. Uh, a little ballyhoo. A ballyhoo, man. Dude, that was so much fun. That yep. kind of reminded me of kitchen flying fish. It's a little bit, they're, they're tricky little guys. They are tricky. The moment they, you grab that rod, dude, they all scattered. Yep. Every time I was like, all right, I guess I'm not catching any, but it was cool. It was cool to watch. I've never seen dude, it before in person. I've never, so. I've never done that before. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Guys, if you don't know who Paul is, if you guys love ponds, this is the pond guy. He's got the ponds, most epic pond fish, videos. Aquariums, Link. anything in the description. Check him out, subscribe to this guy, and also guys, if you haven't subscribed to Black Tip H, click that subscribe button right now. Thanks for watching. Also, make sure you hit that like button, guys. If, you, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.